Hey everyone, it's Bennett, your Fantasy Football Commish, with the final edition of the weekly recap for the Forestland Mishmash Fantasy Football League, the Super Bowl edition for 2012. Uh, congratulations to yours truly, the Slim Aussies, for not only winning this year, but winning back-to-back -back titles and becoming the first two-time winner of the league. Of course, the league's only five years old, um, but someone had to do it first, and I'm happy to be the one uh, real close game, as you can see, here in the finals, uh, barely squeaking it out. Um, let's take a look at the previous week's playoff first, since I was out of town and didn't get to do a recap here, um, because the first week was very exciting. I'll go back here on the on the screen, and um, the biggest or the closest game was the real Slim Aussies narrowly defeating the second seed Calvinators, one forty nine, one forty five. Um, Calvinators got to be very happy with their debut season, first year in the league. They make the playoffs, number two seed. Um, but just couldn't quite get enough points. Um, the big, big, big start was um, starting Colin Kaepernick for the Slim Aussies. Um, it was one of those things where I struggled with it all week. Um, I even said to Temi at bowling uh, earlier in the week, um, I asked him, would you have enough balls to start Colin Kaepernick over Andrew Luck when you've been starting Andrew Luck all year? And he, I think, said no. And I was at the time saying no, but as I looked at it more and more as the week went on. I just did not feel right about Andrew Luck doing well in Houston fantasy-wise. And so I started Kaepernick and turned out to be a nine-point uh, difference between Kaepernick and Luck, which definitely swung the game in my favor because I would have lost by five and instead I won by four. So I'm really, really excited about that win. That's got to be the move of the season. Um, I know way back in week two, um, Doreen... Third and New Long started that running back for the Giants, um, and he had this monster game, and was really the only thing he did all year. So that was the start of the regular season, but obviously in the playoffs, it's more it's more important. So um, good job there. I was nervous as hell about taking Luck out, but it worked out. Um, you know, got just enough from Michael Turner, which has really been the story all year. I was just hoping to. Michael Turner could just do something the rest of the year. As you can see, he had two 100-yard games, but really it was just these mediocre games with touchdowns the whole second half of the season, which got me just enough points from Turner, kept him in my lineup. Um, as you can see, nothing spectacular, but just consistency all along the top here. Uh, the only starter uh, in single digits was Martellus Bennett, um, and of course Marshawn Lynch has been and Calvin Johnson been been carrying the team most of the year. Uh, the Calvinators did fairly well, obviously, but not quite enough. Um, single digits from Avery, Demarius Thomas, and, and uh, Hakeem Nix obviously didn't help. I mean, Demarius Thomas, you know, let's take a look. I mean, he's been great all year. He's had a lot of 100-yard games. He's had touchdowns, um, but only four catches in that game. The only time he had single-digit yards all year. I mean, never had less than three catches in 30 yards, or I guess two catches in 30 yards. Um, all season. So that's a real disappointment. Um, each team had a, a really good player on the bench. Both were sort of out of left field. Dennis Pitta, um, you know, obviously getting 34 points from a tight end is, is a surprise. Wasn't expecting that. So I'm not kicking myself too much about having Martellus Bennett in. Um, and then, of course, James Jones with the injury to Jordy Nelson, scoring a bunch of getting three touchdowns. You know, that's just one of those random things. So um, no real... Um, can't really fault either team for not having those people starting. Um, and the Slim Aussies get a slim, pardon the pun, 149-145 victory to advance to the finals. Um, the other fi the other semifinal, we had a rematch of last year's semifinal, which, of course, is Sarah and Matt, husband and wife, fighting it out. Um, but you got beat by a girl, as she did all year long, number one seed, had the most points, um, you know, did plenty, had 172 points. Um, the Stallions got a real disappointing um, output from Carson Palmer and obviously Anquan Bolden with um, zero points. But the big one was Denario Alexander. Um, you know, he hadn't had less than, you know, five catches since week 10, um, was scoring touchdowns, had, you know, 80, 170, all these yards um, week after week. And then somehow, and of course, I don't have the. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, so I don't remember exactly what happened, but obviously got zero catches in that game, and that was got to be a disappointment uh, for the Stallions because um, they did get Julio Jones 26 points, and the Bengals' defense against Philly was awesome. They got 22 points. So Stallions were probably feeling pretty confident going into the uh, 
the the weekend with um, the Thursday night game, getting all those points. But was not meant to be. Uh, you got beat by girl. Great quarterback play. Smartly um, putting Kirk Cousins in over RG3, who was hurt. And, of course, Steve Johnson with a nice 26 points helped as well. So you got beat by girl. Get Avenges last year's semifinal loss and heads to the finals against the Aussies. So let's move along to the Aussies and the uh, you got beat by girl in the Super Bowl. Another real close game. The Slim Aussies squeak it out by nine points. Um, both teams got a lot of points. This was, you know, two two. Team slugging it out. Um, definitely the two best teams in the league all year in terms of points. And that was borne out with getting the second and third highest points for the week. Um, it started Saturday night with huge night from Calvin Johnson in the Saturday night game for the Aussies. Um, in spite of not getting any touchdowns, obviously 33 points off 11 catches for 225 yards. And obviously he, he had the record for the most receiving yards ever. So... Obviously, that does translate to fantasy points, especially with the bonuses for the points per reception. Um, the funny thing about Calvin Johnson is he only had five touchdowns all year. So he was the stud of the fantasy team with only five touchdowns. So I'm not complaining about that one bit. Um, so that was Saturday night. Of course, uh, Michael Turner had his measly nine points, which he's been sort of doing all year, just getting just enough to justify his start. A lot of touchdowns, a lot of short yardage touchdowns. So I'm not complaining about Michael Turner either because he, he definitely just sort of was steady and got just enough points each week to, to justify. Um, but then Sunday, as expected with um, the Aussies have a couple, having a couple people in the Sunday night game, you got beat by a girl, took the lead by about 30 to 40 points um, in the early games. Uh, obviously, uh, Aaron Rodgers was the big scorer there. RG3 coming back from injury did okay. Um, it hurt the Aussies a little bit that his one, his two touchdowns, neither one was to Pierre Garçon. Um, but Pierre Garçon did get 15 points, so he sort of matched. Uh, Matt Forte had an early touchdown but couldn't follow it up. That was actually in the afternoon game. Uh, Doug Martin did his job, but um, you know Steve Johnson didn't repeat his big points from the week before. Um, A.J. Green did okay. And I don't believe any um, really bonehead bench moves yeah I mean no one really on the bench did anything for either team so both teams had their best lineup in um, but it did come down to the Slim Aussies in the Sunday night game down by about 31 points uh, but Marshawn Lynch I guess will probably have to get the Super Bowl MVP just because of the timing um, he had two touchdowns right at the beginning of the game a receiving touchdown a rushing touchdown so it was pretty much inevitable that the Aussies were going to win um, you know, starting the game down 31 points and getting about 18 or 21 by halftime. Um, although I did have to sweat it out till halfway through the fourth quarter. Um, it did eventually happen. Kaepernick just had a terrible night, only but only threw one pick. Um, and that temporarily, um, he the Aussies caught up in the fourth quarter. Colin Kaepernick threw a pick. It temporarily put the Aussies down by one. But then Marshawn Lynch got a bunch of yards to take the lead. And then the icing on the cake was the Kaepernick touchdown, garbage touchdown at the end of the game to give the Aussies the 11-point lead, or excuse me, the 11-point win. So congratulations to the Aussies. Um, I, you know, the commissioner, um, I'm also obviously the owner of the team, so I'm extremely happy and excited to win two years in a row. Um, it's m more of a relief than anything. Uh, it's one of those things you just, you're just relieved to get the win, and you don't even really, it's hard to even celebrate too much, but... I found a way to celebrate. Of course, the next day was Christmas Eve, and I was able to see um, Matt, Sarah, and Greg at the Christmas Eve party and do a little gloating, but also you know, some good-natured gloating and also got congratulations and, and talked a little smack um, from my family. So all in all, a very enjoyable season, especially for me being the winner, but I hope everyone had a great time. Uh, I believe everybody's paid, um, so we're good to go for next year. Um John Gallo promises not to miss the draft next year, and to to and he swears he's going to come back and win the league next year. So he's going to stay in the league again. Um, of course, everybody's invited back. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the new video blogs with the um, you know without me on camera um, and just the uh, the stats and stuff. And of course, if you have any questions or comments or anything, let me know. But have a great off season. Have a happy new year. And once again, congratulations to the Aussies for winning. 
back-to-back -back championships. This is your commish signing off.